There's a oh. really cheap looking robot in the city? What? It's steampunk. That's that's how Ooh, silver tongue candy. Uh -huh. Wow, that's not literal. Oh my god. Right? Yes, ma'am. Six bullets Please more than enough to kill a man. Or anything that moves? Black. How's that go? This is Sam Elliott. I was gonna say in the movie. Yeah. So, <laughs> this is this is there will be blood, right? A friend of mine. There will be in dust. Fact, a bunch of children were all kidnapped and taken somewhere, but we don't know exactly where. So I traveled with a big group of Egyptians, and we're trying to save them. And I thought maybe you could help us. <laughs> well, that sounds like a help you. <laughs> tell you what, sure. I still need to look in on an old friend of mine. But why don't you come chat with me a bit later? Okay. See you later, Mr. Scoresby. <laughs> and see you later, Miss Lyra. See, no, guys. Sometimes you eat the bear. Sometimes the bear presses X to flurry. Oh. It's a shame Mr. Scoresbury has never gotten an Emmy. Makes me nervous. <laughs> I'm certain no good will come of it. Racist motherfucker. <laughs> so... I like that the uh, the bear was mad at being deceived. And really, the biggest deception was like, here's a bottle of booze. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't booze, it's yingling. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I thought I'd make that jump. Uh, you gotta, I, you gotta use your, uh, you gotta use your sloth buddy. Remember? That's right. My favorite move. Oh no. One. All right. So, so question about the I plot. Got jump and jump whip. and whip. There we go. Question about the yeah, plot of this yeah. movie mm -hmm. yeah, and the books in general. Do like, do the animals actually change like instantaneously and instantaneously like they do? Like, can he change? When they're kids, your Egyptian friends are awfully nice. A better bunch of people you couldn't ask to be around. Especially the dude abides. Do they? Does he like? Does Pan constantly change to suit Lyra's predicament like she does in the video game, or is that just a video game mechanic? Uh, no. It's, it's just a video game mechanic. Pan okay. does constantly change, but... Plenty to do around here, but be careful of the police. They're a little jumpy since the bear's been in town. <laughs> They're a little jumpy <laughs> since the bear's been in town. You know, this, this, uh... Yo, for me, man, is flavor to you, for you. This game is an excellence. Excellent purveyor of the literary concept of show and don't tell, in that, it, <laughs> in that it tells you fucking everything. I really like that. Uh, I, yeah. I just don't want to explore the city. I'm we, gonna be honest. We've seen Chekhov's bear. You know, we saw the bear in the first act, and we're in the third act. Exactly. It has to be fired. Hills like white elephants and I, Golden Compass, the video game. Can I just Ooh. like all right? So textbook. The developers took time. Oh. Might come in handy. oh, fuck you. Sorry. At, at, uh, offering to the cube. Offering to, offering the, cube. to the cube. You're right. right. The cube, You're right. So gotta stay positive. Put it in the cube. I'm jar. gonna have to put another one in right, before I even say it. Okay. Developers it took time yeah. to develop a fighting mechanic. Right. That's normally seen in a game that it would be quote unquote fun in the traditional sense. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> right. <laughs> and most of the game, I would say 90% doesn't use it. Yep. So far. No. I mean, I'm My guessing the last half is just nothing but fighting. I'm hoping, right? I mean, I don't want to... Look, guys, I don't want to be a jerk here, but last time when I was making similar complaints about the game, it's getting made fun of pretty hard. We we've, we've, need to implement the cube yeah. jar. Cube jar. All right, put a dollar in the cube jar. I'm putting a dollar in. Here I go. What is the... Um, what are those guys doing? They're doing... <laughs> Did you see that? They're doing the Harlem Shake. They're doing the look Harlem Shake. Oh, man. <laughs> I what is that? That'll age well. Quick, hide. Uh oh, uh -oh. spy flies. Okay, gotta hide, guys. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> maybe behind those cans. Uh, no, he no, hates those he cans. He hates the cans. Hold on. That was what I was going. All right. Nope. All right. Well, game is. over. Good job. All right. Uh, good, uh Terminator's gonna get me. I gotta go into a, a uh, building. There try it is. things. Uh. Well, good job. Uh, well, standing around didn't help. Yep. I'm all out of ideas. Oh, oh now I gotta no. battle the fly. I hope he goes into those cans. <laughs> uh, use the marbles on the, the fly. That's what we've learned. Marble. Alright, here's the question. <laughs> <laughs> These wasps. Wasps. 
more or less annoying than the 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 blood sucking wasps in Dragon Age. Or, uh, that, I'm gonna put it in the jar. Dark Souls. I'm gonna put it in the jar. Put, put, it, in the, put his money. Put, put, put his money in the. Praise the this, cube. This 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 bee has a lot of time to avoid you know, crashing into things. <laughs> I, <laughs> he didn't crash into anything that time. I mean, bees are designed by science well, to they're turn on a dime. Cube. Everything is designed by the cube. You're right. Our At glorious... the center of the bees is probably a cube. Well, uh, the cube, you know, wait. I didn't think we'd find religion in the golden compass of all things. Right. But we have. Right. The cube guides us. Cubeanment four. Mm hmm The cube guides us. It, oh, it is. The lithiometer is now available. Should I ask it something? Probably not. I'm guessing we're going to need some clues. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> or a question to ask. A question or clues. Let's see what's over here. Power ups. Can I play the loot? Yeah. Oh, it might be. That's one of your things on the lithiometer. Examine oh, yeah. it. Yeah. And you have to hold on to it. What do you think it's going to be? Poetry. Never would have guessed. Jump. So we saw a recent resurgence a few years ago in the ukulele. Oh, yeah, in pop music. Uh -huh. When will the loot? It seems like it's a matter of time, right? This is Doctor Lansalius. Oh, I started a, a loot band. Yeah, you didn't know about it? No, it's called uh, Breaking Bard. You have. Father Gorum, let's not waste the young lady's time by beating around the bush. You have something. This grown baby. Indeed, then I'll ask bluntly. Do you have any information regarding an organization capturing children and bringing them north? Now, before I continue, please understand that only your relationship with Serafina Piccola affords you access to this knowledge. Course, He's getting fussy. Time to put him down. The Northern Progress Exploration Company, which is actually a front for the General Oblation Board. They pretend to search for minerals, but instead, they import children. I do not know where they take them, however. Are there any children here now? No. The last group left by Sledge the day before yesterday. I see. This guy's rocking is like Thank really, time, sir. really go, hypnotic. May I ask a question? Can you of change course. my diaper? That you are <laughs> Whoa, change his facing. Would you like to look at it? No, don't let him look at that. Much. He likes selling I children. To ask it where my mommy is <laughs> in my passy. I would recommend that no one else in town see <laughs> oh, this. Why, why does he not have lips? He, <laughs> why doesn't he, he have any legs? He just has on the drugs. <laughs> What's wrong with him? He's like he looks like like his movements are like Mitch Hedberg. <laughs> what are the intentions of the Tartars with regards to Kamchatka? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, what man. are the intentions of the? <laughs> I hate doing this. That, 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 put that, it jar. in the cube. Put oh, it in that, the cube. Jar. All right. Let's. let's It says they're going to pretend to attack, but they're not really going to, since it's too far away and they'd be stretched out. Interesting. Thank you. May I ask for one more demonstration? Of course. Outside, there are a number of bows. Can you find the one that was used by Serafina Piccola? Sure. I bet I can. Have you learned the answer yet? Well, I'm still... Yes, I expect reading the alethiometer must be... Oh, right. no. Okay. I don't know if I can handle another alethiometer guess right this second. We're going to have to have at least Cube one more. jar. <laughs> You're right. Look, Chris, just... All right, let's start, I put too let's much start money small. Let's start small. Okay. You know you're really know. struggling right now. I so mean, what's, what, uh, I'm struggling because I've taken on full responsibility of playing this game. Right, see, it, it stresses you out, right? We but no, no, switch. let's let's we start. Switch. Let's start small. Uh, we'll I'll see. play the polar bear levels. Let's. I mean, that's I. I love these levels. Uh, I mean, I love the game. Okay, but, let's start. But that's. I mean, it's not fair for you to have to take on all the harder levels. The cube would want it this way. Right. I don't think the cube would. Let's. I don't. All right. I reflect on. Commandment seven. Okay, what is commandment seven? You know, you know the commandments. Oh, is that the one where um you should always have uh, thou shalt not covet your neighbor's cube? Yeah, absolutely. Is that what it was? 
I get it confused with Q-Mammoth 8, which is uh, always brush in a circular motion. Right. Oh. I can see how he could confuse those two right. things. But the alethiometer is now available. Now, where are the bows? Can you go in that building, maybe? And pick out the bows? Nope. nope. Maybe they meant, like, the bow. No. <laughs> we gotta go back to the <laughs> go ship. Go back to the ship. Oh, there's bows right there, you dingus! They both spelled and pronounced it as bow. What, here? Yeah. Oh. Grab it. Oh, good. Which one's the right one? I don't know. Just press uh, Y. Choose I wisely. I think there's only one option. <laughs> don't pick the wrong bow now. I know who this child is. I'm not sure what you mean. The witches have a prophecy about the Chosen One. A girl who will save the world and all of us in it. And you think that refers to Lyra? I do indeed. But part of the prophecy dictates that she must fulfill this destiny in ignorance of what she's doing. <laughs> that's for the that's sake of plot contrivance. That's, that is exceptionally, exceptionally yeah. generous to the plot. To say that I do. What it means is oh, she's like a drunk uncle. Is this how they pick the next Dalai Lama? Not, but it is not our uh, no, that's a, it depends on the color smoke that comes out. I oh! I'm very impressed. My facial expressions show that. Thank you. Before I take my leave, Dr. Lancelius, is there any other advice you might give to me? Well, to say that if I were to mount an expedition against the child thieves, I would attempt to enlist I bring the a child. Of an armored bear. <laughs> I heard the Panzerbjorn were hired by the General Oblation Board. They were. But there is a renegade that may be found behind Einerson's bar in the evenings. I would imagine his services to be invaluable. I will speak to him. Huh. Thank you for everything. Of course. A pleasure, Father Corum. And a privilege Thanks, Colonel to Sanders. you, Lyra. <laughs> nice to meet you too, Dr. Lancelius. Come now, Lyra. The white-haired fellow's uh, voice sounds Lyra. familiar. The Qui-Gon Jinn? That's yeah, probably Qui-Gon Jinn. Um, okay, there we go. <laughs> Checkpoint! Onward and upward. Onward and upward. It's... All right. Chris was being bad, so I had to take control of the controller from him. Yeah. Yeah, I said my spirit animal was Jar Jar Binks, and he got mad. I just don't want you to disrespect Jar Jar Binks that way. Look, let's be honest. Let's talk this out. Jar Jar Binks. Uh oh. All right, so so if I. Uh oh, bees. So the bees are coming. Favorite Star Wars characters: one, Jar Jar Binks; mm -hmm. two, Clockwork Bees; a uh, young Anakin Skywalker; young, young Anakin, Anakin Skywalker; yeah. three. Yeah. Last, way down, Han Solo. That's good. Yeah, Han Solo is probably the worst. Probably the worst. Yeah. Um. All right. Okay. Which Mine would, would go Jar Jar, Young Anakin, Metachlorians. Oh yeah, Metachlorians. Yeah. Character. I As love a, the character. The Metachlorians. Well, they're living. They're right. Just right. in a bowl. Yeah. So, uh, off screen. You keep them on a bowl on your coffee table. <laughs> like. Put in my coffee. Help no, it's, stay it's like a fruit bowl. It's not even hitting the, the sawdust hard. Or anything, really. I mean, it just... <laughs> no sweat. It hit the metachlorians. She's like a drunk uncle dancing at Jar Jar Binks' wedding. Ah, foisted by your own Picard. Those got edited out, so nobody knows that, what that is. Sorry, Anthony. Hey! Hey, I saw what you did, game. Oh. I brought you all the way back. <laughs> Money in the cube. <laughs> all right, I'm sorry, cube. Money in the cube jar. Yorick Bernison, right. may I speak to you? We want to offer I, you I wasn't sure if this was from the movie I or from the game. It looked that bad. By the towns, me too. What kind of work is that for a pants of yours? Yorick Bernison, why are you wasting your time here? I you didn't get your GED. Because the people of this town gave me spirits. Then they took my armor away. War is the Sir sea Ian McCallum. I swim in. Yeah. Without my armor, yeah. I am nothing. I wonder how the Bear's licensing for that works. Is his soul. As I thought about that too. I'm not really soul. sure. It His must pan. have been terrible to lose your armor. It was no less than and my deserved. acting ability. I fought another bear in single combat. 
and was defeated. Shame. The end. I would have rested a little easier at night with him in tow. What do you mean? Mm, he's the delicious. Won't be too keen on returning his armor. And All right. Out on our account. <laughs> No, you were bad. No you were bad. You were bad. Give me the you bad. Give me the you you said something bad. <laughs> bad. We can never say what I said. No. No. Because no. you were bad. <laughs> oh, good. Anthony. Yeah? Uh, I asked the alethiometer. Oh, you gotta ask the alethiometer. Okay. What up, baby? Just gonna go into my journal and get this alethiometer out. Look how she's standing. Hmm. Is my is love real? too much for this golden compass? Is that's that you, John Wayne? Sex. Oh. oh, it's in the basement of the Magisterium building in town. Come on, Chris. Right, that's where we gotta that. go. Let's go I'm to gonna, the I'm gonna slide that controller back to Judge. Uh, off to the Magisterium. Where are we going? Magisterium, Chris. I can't say that right, word. Don't you? Not capable. Don't you follow Warhammer 40,000 fluff at all? You should know how to pronounce that word. <laughs> Magisterium no. building. Hmm. Uh, it's not the bakery. <laughs> No, no, that's, that's a fancy word for bakery. Oh, the, in the yeah. Warhammer universe, yeah. <laughs> it means bakery? Yeah. That's exactly, you nailed it. Nail on the head. Nerd-ass shit going down. You Man, gotta measure out your loaves with a ruler. Yep. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then you... And I don't you roll know some d6s. Well. Okay. You make some armor saves. Uh-huh. You go to town. You check your ballistic skill. Okay. Yeah. And then you could determine if you're able to eat bread or not. Yep. Yeah. Now, this looks like a magisterium type of building. It does. Maybe there's some kind of route around it. Or an invisible wall. Perhaps an invisible wall, yeah. Probably have to Assassin's Creed it. Just climb up that bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, climb. Uh, well, maybe, actually. Uh, no. In the movie. <gasps> Is that Jerry? No. Hey. Hey, Jerry. What does seagull mean? So, something? like, are there are there there are animals that exist in this universe that aren't spirit animals? Evidently, right? okay. I think so because those dolphins. <laughs> that are... would be really confusing, right? It's like uh, if there's like a fat girl and you, you just think she's pregnant. It's like ah, trying to talk to a a dumb spirit animal. Eric Bannister. Yes. I know where your armor is, and I thought he's a close talker, Jerry. <laughs> You could get it back. It's good then. textures. Really Word tight textures. Human means little to me. If you really know where my armor is, bring me a piece of it as proof. And then you'll come with us? You have my word. I, I want to throw this out there. I've not put any money in the cube jar. You guys are just throwing money hand over fist. And the you'll cube have jar. your time. Is, is that because I'm totally broke right now? Yeah. I, uh -huh. I got no money to give the cube jar, uh -huh. so yeah. I gotta stay positive. I mean, you're supposed to give ten percent, even if you're not. Yeah, I, I tithe ten percent to the. Cube. I can't. You're one of those people that go to the cube church on Sundays and don't donate. Hey, you know. you, you're you're like a cafeteria cubist. No, no, my financial. You only go on Cube Easter and Cube Christmas. No, my financial situation is making me. Cube Christmas. <laughs> Son of a biscuit! <laughs> oh, the bees are coming. What are we supposed to do about it? You gotta hide, you jackass. Where, though? You got, well, you know, I would know where to hide if I had the you controller would not. still. You've been bad. Help me. Uh, Help me. Yeah, <laughs> I need yeah. an adult. I need an adult. <laughs> you fall for being bad. Ah, <laughs> oh, there you go. I need something. Here's, here's another great thing about Boing. this game that I, I really like. <laughs> Whoa! I, I like that there's so many so many different enemies that you get to fight in this game, yeah, and they all have such varied attack patterns. Exactly. Again, this game is just really you know, it's showing. <laughs> <Somebody> <laughs> just dropped a face off screen or something. I, I I've uh, thought of something I'd like about this game, Anthony, to tell you. Yeah, you already Go said ahead. the sound effects in Go the ahead. last video. Oh, did I? Yeah, we did. Mm -hmm. we oh, I didn't say. Oh, I didn't say this though. Okay. It it's related, but it's something I like. The foley artist. Yeah. Oh, good foley artistry. Yeah, yes. it's great foley artist. Sorry to cut you off like that. Yeah, it's it's. I mean, realistically, you said the exact same thing as you did last time, but but no, it's but good. you said foley artist, which no, is one the, of my he, favorite industry terms. I, yeah, I, I'm talking about the foley artist. The Mick Foley artist. Yeah, he's a Mick Foley did the foley art.
Right. For this. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah, gotta go yeah, to the yeah, green yeah. mist. Yeah. Are you gonna pants this kid? <laughs> Why am I going behind him? I ain't gonna tell you nothing. Not unless you think you can beat me in a race. So you gotta uh -oh. beat him in a I think I know where this is going. Let's try it out then. I like that this in this universe people just are up for races randomly. Nobody questioned it in Mario 64. Look, that big bomb. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Oh, no. Uh, oh, you're doing like the Ninja Gaiden trick? The Alucard trick? Yeah. I only play S Symphony of the Night by backdashing back constantly. You almost this there. is what you're missing because you were bad. Uh, you this looks like a lot of right fun. Now, Chris. This looks like a lot of fun. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Brilliant. You could be saying something about a relative at a wedding right now. Nope. No. Oh. Not okay. allowing it. Hey, you, you may have taken away my controller, but you haven't taken away my spirit. Oh, you've taken it away a little bit. Sexist. Oh, Chris. Oh, yep, yep. Now you need me. Now you need me. Now you need me. One of the bows on the shed near the witch's console lets you fly if you use it right. I can't tell you which one, though. You have to try them for yourself. That's a pretty good one. So I'll tell you. There's a secret entrance to the Never would have guessed it. Is there also a door behind a waterfall? <laughs> Back of the building, huh? If they, th if you throw the leafyometer in the fountain found in the waterfall, you actually get in return a more boring leafyometer. Wow! <laughs> you have to start a wow. and cross over the water. Been yeah. through an alley and over the bed fence. Easy. No way. You gotta make sure you don't fall in the water and you need good balance and you have to watch out for the guards. Okay. Putting all of our skills to the test. Back there. Yeah. I ain't scared. <laughs> all right. I ain't never in. scared. What? So, you see how they spelled nice ain't? Tea, right? <laughs> you bet. English people right actually say that. Right nice cup of tea. <laughs> well, no. Why is the camera behaving this way? You, every time there's a slight hiccup with the camera, you're you're terrified, aren't you? Yep. And that's why we <laughs> worship the cube. Look, we live in fear of the camera. Here's the thing, and the though. Cube. If it weren't for the scenes. camera screwing up, we would have never met the cube. That's true. Everything mm -hmm. happens for a reason, Judge. Yep. You, everything yep. happens the for cube a reason. It. I heard you were showing a bit of interest in that armored bear. He would have done quotes if he could have. <laughs> he would have done so many. He just... <laughs> it's... Oh, oop. Uh-oh. If he were... If he was animated to do air quotes, then he would have done them. Whoa. Impressed. You're just... Look, you're, a, you're very clutch. Hey, at the, uh, I keep my cool. If there was an 11th cube mammoth, that's what it would be. Why is... There doesn't have to be 10. Cube man, just because there are 10 Judeo-Christian commandments, it doesn't mean there has to be 10 cube mammoths. No, it needs to be a, a, an even number. Yeah, like because the cube is perfect. So there should be four, then. Or Oh, I got a cedar charm. It's a statue of a man or something. Okay. Oh, oh my god. This is goddamn ridiculous. Cube jar. Keep keep going that way. Yeah, it I, might I, loop around. Sure? Yeah, it yeah. might loop around. Oh my god. Ladies. <laughs> Is this another oh. well I guess it doesn't matter because you can't get out of it. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> the game's breaking you. I'm, I'm gonna lie to <laughs> Mother Mary. <laughs> Cube jar. Look at her face. <laughs> <laughs> Most of her texture is not filled in. She is, uh, well, no, they, 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 they keep mentioning that, like, wailing. Or, no, that's, I'm thinking of Dishonored. <laughs> Dishonored wailing is, like, a big part of everyday existence. She's got a, got a bucket full of whale jar in her face. It's his <laughs> no big deal. Cube jar, I'm wailing right now. <laughs> Aren't you a thoughtful little girl? As nice as that is, I'd stay away from that building if I were What's wrong with her hand? What's wrong with everything? Look, you can see the building behind her. All right, cube jar. I don't care. I don't. I don't give a flying oh, cube. Ooh, pound orbs. 
Yeah, I'll pound some orbs. But I've seen plenty of kids go in there before. I've heard about that, but I don't think you want to end up like those kids. In fact, the basement of the Magisterium is about the last place you'd want to be. Here, take this and forget messing about over there. I'm Irish and also from Sweden. Thank you very much. Yes, bow to me. <laughs> bow to me. There we go. <laughs> that joke only for Chris. The bear who works for Einerson is a master mental. What? What? <laughs> what? Cube jar. Cube jar, both of you. Cube what? jar. <laughs> Cube jar. You guys gotta be more positive. That's a that's a natural ending. What? That's a natural ending point to a level. There's mm -hmm. a <laughs> He's right. You <laughs> We'll see you next time. Today's demonic spirit animal is brought to you by Mr. Dumb Rodent. Mr. Dumb Rodent's demonic spirit animal is Nicolas Cage. Here are 47 facts about Nicolas Cage. Born Nicolas Coppola, he chose Cage as his stage name to honor comic book superhero Luke Cage. That's right, he's a Coppola. Inspired by Superman's birth name, he christened his now five-year-old son, Kal-El. Cage's father, the late August Coppola, worked as a comparative literature professor at Cal State Long Beach and served as a trustee of the California State University system. In 2001, Cage received an honorary doctorate from Cal State Fullerton. Cage has two older brothers, Mark and Christopher Coppola, both of whom have worked in the film biz. Through his father, Cage is also related to director Francis Ford Coppola, who's his uncle, and actor Jason Schwartzman, who's his cousin. Alright, I'm not reading all these. Thank you, Mr. Dumb Rodent, and thanks for watching.